Welcome to the CXR channel, our premier podcast for talent acquisition and talent management. Listen in as the CXR community discusses a wide range of topics focused on attracting, engaging, and retaining the best talent. We're glad you're here. This is Chris Hoyt with Career Crossroads, and you are listening to another edition of our weekly podcast. I'm excited today. We have an industry colleague, uh, all around pretty nice guy we've known uh, for coming up on almost a year, I guess. Sam Davies. Sam, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good yeah, to be I here. assume you're. I assume you're an all around nice guy. I mean, I've only I've only known you via Zoom and some you know some conversations, but you seem like an all around nice guy. In person, I'm terrible. I mean. <laughs> You're a monster, Sam. You're a monster. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so for those who don't know um, Sam and those who don't know Real Link, Sam, why don't you, I always like to turn it over to the guest to give us sort of that escalator yeah. pitch of who is Sam Davies uh, and, and what do you do? Give us like a little mm. two minute background of who you are and why we should care about your opinion today. Yeah, for sure. Um, so after uh, after leaving uni, having done philosophy and history, I decided the sensible next choice was to get into recruitment. Uh, sold myself for a little bit there. Decided that I could sell it even further, so went into corporate law, um, which was awful, awful, genuinely awful. And I had a strong chance, back to your initial point, of becoming one of those nasty guys. But but seeing uh, seeing where it was going, uh, I ended up leaving law and uh, set up uh, Real Links. And it wasn't all bad because. Um, I got referred from one law firm to the next and it was on seeing how terrible that process was that sort of gave me the nugget of the idea of can we improve this is it just a me problem or is there a wider problem in the industry and discovered it was a wider problem referrals generally weren't working uh, in uk and europe and in the us and elsewhere as well uh, and set about solving that with Reelinks, which historically has been an employer referral platform uh, set up at the beginning of 2018 and more recently we got into the world of internal mobility which is how this whole project, uh, you know, how I became involved in this in this project, more to the point. Um, and it's been a really interesting journey, uh, not only on the referral side, but more recently on the internal mobility side. And there's a module to that um, around mentorship, which is very tied to what we're going to be discussing today, which is super cool. Yeah, I think so, Sam. It's interesting. I didn't know about your law background. Since it's so this explains so so much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is an interesting shift, I think, a pivot for you guys to take from an, to an internal mobility piece, because I think it, funny on, I think it's a savvy, it's a really smart shift, because I think early on in the pandemic, uh, when all of this was happening and the social unrest, be, you know, began to kick off and all of these changes, one of the first things that we said, and that a lot of our members realize is that internal mobility will be the saving grace to come out of this um, less scathed. Let's just, we'll put it that way, right? Uh, and I think some organizations leaned in on that piece and some organizations said, man, eh, we'll be fine. Uh, and I think they're, they're feeling that now. Uh, yeah. So I think it's really, really interesting that you did that. And that is, in fact, what, what brought us together. Mm, absolutely. So for those who don't know, um, Career Crossroads established a nonprofit uh, foundation, the CXR Foundation, uh, last year. And we've done, um, prior to the pandemic, when we used to do live meetings, I can't wait to get back to those, but when we used to do live meetings, we would meet a day early in that city and do local work with uh, any of the local charities or organizations. We might stock a food pantry, we, you know, we might work a shelter, you know, any number of things. We've coached college students uh, looking for their first job, gone into the school. So a lot of fun there and doing sort of community work. And then uh, that sort of transformed into a project that was recruiters recruiting recruiters, right? And so we built that out uh, because there were so many recruiters impacted or displaced by the pandemic looking for work. But then the, the supply and demand shift happened uh, and that project and all of the passion and the people behind it gave birth to another one uh, that we're in the middle of launching and that we partnered with you, Sam, on uh, to sort of get that off the ground. And in fact, you are indeed the engine to that. Do you want to you want to talk a little bit about sort of how that how that works on your behalf? Yeah, absolutely. So um, yeah, when it went our conversation, I think this came about, didn't it, when we would do, I was doing a sort of dem demo slash explanation of, of the product and you saw the mentorship piece and you saw what could be, what could be done there. But essentially the idea being that um, if you are um, looking for a job, whether you're out of work or in work and uh, you're, you're looking for support uh, in terms of helping to upskill you, support you through that recruitment journey, 
there's a real opportunity to use our system. Um, I guess the system that we've adapted for, uh, for this fantastic initiative. And when you come into uh, to the mentorship platform uh, as a recruiter, it allows you to basically create a profile. But the fundamental part of it is it allows you to say what disciplines you need support with and help with. And on the flip side, if you're a mentor and you're interested in coming in and supporting others, uh, it will allow you to say, what disciplines in terms of recruitment you'd be able to help others with. And through that process, we're able to match a mentee with a mentor on the system. So uh, you're able to go in. We've got, we've got some fantastic mentors on there already, and we haven't even been pushing this out via marketing, which is brilliant. But it, it is tailored, and you know that coming into it, it will help you because it is finding you someone who can help you with that next job, with that next discipline that you need to look at, essentially. Yeah, it's fantastic. I, I love it. I love the work that's been done so far. I know we have a ways to go. Uh, but to your point, Sam, we've got uh, what upwards of 50 people uh, that are in our quiet pilot uh, as we're sort of playing with that. And what I really find interesting about this, this piece is that, hey, it doesn't cost anything to anybody uh, to participate and that you can log in uh, and be a mentor or a mentee or both. Yeah. Uh, and that, I think that was sort of a pivotal discussion for us, like a, a decision point for us when we were putting this together with the small but mighty team uh, that is sort of pushing this initiative. Because I think that what we have seen in the space is that there is a hunger for not a uh, and if you disagree with me, obviously, you know, jump in. But I think that there is a hunger for a more rapid fire, short term mentoring or coaching type of relationship. Oh, and, and I hate the phrase just in time anything, uh, but but I think sort of something that is not a long-term commitment program. And Jerry and I have been kind of struggling with what do we call this? And if, you've, if you're a regular podcast listener, you've heard us come up with a, a couple of terms here and there. Thankfully, none of those have stuck yet. Uh, but, I, but I do think there is a thirst or an appetite for people to be able to come in and take advantage of these quick relationships, these conversations that so many of us already have uh, and sort of let people reach outside of their initial networks. Would you, would you see the same thing uh, with the discussions and the topics you're having sort of over there across the pond? Yeah, I think completely. I think there is, uh, it, it is uh, you know, we were chatting a bit um, off air beforehand around some conversations I was having at a conference last week. And I think there's a, um, we can, you know, as recruiters, much like any other professions, uh, your your moves between jobs become can become quite rigid. Uh, I.e., they can be very based on the the you know what, what can be like a smaller skill set of recruiting, and then you only feel comfortable applying for roles within that particular discipline. And there's lots of talent there that could be utilised elsewhere. So it's about helping those individuals to think about, okay, well, you know, you've got these four disciplines, you're doing really well in them, but how how can I help you? To feel comfortable or confident or upskill to develop a few more disciplines that would actually make you a great fit for this for this other role so it's essentially allowing the idea is not only to provide people support but what i love about this is it it provides for less rigid mobility between those jobs which i think is really cool yeah i love that and i you know i have to say to that point we were talking a little bit earlier about the barrier to entry into recruiting uh and i think a piece of that oftentimes uh for folks who would be new to recruiting is confidence because it is a very different field and one that depending on where you're looking at that from could be quite intimidating, could be quite scary. And I think, I, you know, I'm just going to say this and I haven't run it by any of the other team yet, but if, if you were somebody who is in a people, you're, you're touching people. So let me rephrase that. If you are in a job, where, not where you're touching people, but where you're <laughs> interacting with people uh, on a regular basis and you're considering recruiting, this might be an interesting resource for you to connect for a little bit of career conversation because the the chats don't happen but maybe for an hour right is is the commitment we're asking for folks yeah. no more than an hour to have a conversation and i personally and i think quite a few of the other mentors would actually welcome a conversation with somebody who's considering getting into recruiting and we can say yeah this looks like it'll be a great fit for you or run run in the uh, dot walk run in the other direction this may not be ideal for you yeah completely i think the, the confidence thing is so interesting because you know you Again, if I look around the room at some of the recent conferences I've been at, on the face of it, these people have got fantastic jobs at fantastic organizations, but they're also still quite scared about moving into a slightly different industry or moving to a slightly different recruiting role. And uh, this presents such a great opportunity to not only guide, but give people the confidence to make those moves, which is awesome. 
Yeah, that's a good call out too. I mean, too many times I've seen a recruiter that feels like they only know how to recruit this. They couldn't recruit tech or the flip yeah. of that. You've got these really arrogant technical recruiters who feel like nobody else can do that role. And that's not helping the space either. Massive, massively. Like the example, um, so we had a law firm and a big law firm and a massive supermarket on this, in, in this sort of like round table discussion that we were at. And what was fascinating is by the end of it, they pretty much worked out. They had like the same overall problems and lots of the solutions that were came up applied to both, but you wouldn't have put those two things together necessarily. So it just, it, 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 you know, it backs up that point for sure. Fascinating. Well, look, Sam, anything you want to leave us with? I mean, we'll, we'll obviously drop a link here and we can tell people to get interested in that program, but anything you want to leave us with from the, the work that you do or your, your insights on the space before we drop? I think the, the one thing that I'm super passionate about at the moment is the idea that like, we can move more fluidly within uh, not only our own industry, but elsewhere. And I think when you're looking at things, tools like what we're creating here, the idea, you know, when, when you're an individual looking at that next career move, uh, being excited by your path, possibly just within recruitment and, you know, get involved in this tool and give us feedback. And it's through feedback and thinking about those different paths that recruiters could take that we can turn this into something fantastic. So. Look, I don't know. I just I, I think we're we're on the verge of something pretty exciting in terms of where career paths can take us. And I think tools like this help with that. Yeah, I do too. I love your passion. I think whether you're early in your career or you you've seasoned and you've been doing this a while, uh well, here's a great analogy. If your beard looks like Sam, right, or your beard looks like me, it do, it doesn't matter. So you've been doing a little while or a long while, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think there's a benefit to sort of connecting and see what's going on. Sam, yeah. thanks so much for joining us, man. It's always great to get to know you a little better and, and sort of just share you with the industry. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Good stuff. So look, I just want to tell everybody we are here weekly. Uh, we're going all the way through. We've got kind of an interesting one. If you know Galamog, he's over at Telenia. He's the big man over at Telenia. He wants to talk next week about what he's calling a new product category, uh, automatic AI sourcing. Now that sounds like he's saying it's the death of the sorcerer to me, but join us next week. We'll see what, uh, we'll see what Gal's got to say about that. And until then, we'll see you guys online at CXR.works. Thanks everybody. Thanks for listening to the CXR channel. Please subscribe to CXR on your favorite podcast resource and leave us a review while you're at it. Learn more about CXR at our website, CXR.works, Facebook.com and Twitter.com slash Career Crossroads and on Instagram at Career X Roads. We'll catch you next time.